And on this video, we're gonna be taking a look at the top Diag P200 Smart Probe, also known as the Smart Hook. Now, this is probably the most advanced probe that I have reviewed on the channel yet, and I can't wait to show you all of its features. First, I'm gonna unbox this, show you what you get inside of this box, and then I'm gonna walk you through its different features so you can see what you can actually test with this probe. And as always, I'd like to remind you that I placed a link in the description down below to this product in case you wanna get one for yourself. And the P200 Pro comes in the semi-rigid case with a carrying handle and inside of the case we have the probe itself on one side and then we have the accessories on the other. Let's start with the probe. First off we get a pair of heavy duty alligator clips to connect the probe to our vehicle's battery and they are detachable with this locking plug. And the probe case is hard plastic with some rubberization on this area and on the buttons. And on the bottom of the probe we have a full size USB port to update the firmware and on the other end of this cable we have the grounding clip which is fuse protected and we are able to replace the fuse and then we have the connection for the alligator clips and for accessories we get this alligator clip and that can be inserted into the end that grounds the probe and we get two probe sizes the standard one and we also get this one with the flat end which should come in handy to back probe connectors we also get an extension that can be used to extend the length of the probe and we get this harness that allows us to test relays and we get the USB cable for firmware update and lastly we get this user manual which is in English and it is in full color that shows us how the Pro works and its different functions. But now let's move over to the Pro so we can test out the different features of it. And I'll start by connecting the alligator clips to the Pro. I'm gonna align these connectors and push them into the fully lock. And I can connect the alligator clips to my battery, the black one to negative and the red one to positive. Now in case you're curious we have roughly about 20 feet of length so we can move the Pro potentially all the way to the back of the vehicle. And also the Pro supports both 12 volt and 24 volt systems. And here's the P200 Pro, which as you can see, it has been equipped with a high resolution color screen, which is roughly about two and a half inches in size. The other thing that comes on when the tool powers is the LED light in the front, which should come in handy in case we wanna light up underneath our vehicle. And I do wanna show you that I have installed the extension so I can probe, but show you a close up of the screen at the same time. And starting at the top, we have the smart mode. I'm gonna hit okay to select this. And this allows the probe to be able to to detect and automatically switch between voltage. Notice how we have a reading of 12.3, but if I probe our resistance, notice that we get a reading of the resistance, 1.7 ohms. And the next option is gonna be multimeter, where we have the ability to select between volts, we can select resistance, we can select diode, we can select amperage, and we can select frequency or hertz. So let's begin with the voltage. Again, I'm gonna probe a voltage here, and let's see if we get a voltage reading. Yep, sure enough and I'm gonna probe a five volt voltage. Here we go, that is voltage. Now let's move over to resistance. And again, we're gonna probe our resistance and this time I'll bring the resistance into the picture so we can see that. And here we have again that reading of 1.7. And the next one is diode. And I have a diode attached to the grounding end and I'm gonna probe the other end of the diode and here we go, our diode reading. But if I were to install this diode incorrectly, we can see that we don't have a reading. This is also allows me to confirm that the diode is working correctly because we should only get a reading in this direction with this line facing the grounding lead. Next up is the amp meter if I wanted to measure current and I have a light bulb that it is connected in series with the probe. If I hit the okay, I can get the amp reading this way. And the last one is frequency and I have a random frequency generator here so we could measure frequency. But we also get an oscilloscope function. I'll hit okay on that and let's see what that looks like. This is convenient again if we're troubleshooting sensors on a vehicle. Moving over to relay, we have both a diagram right here and we also have the instructions that show us how each lead can be connected to the relay for testing. Let me connect this relay. And with all the connections made, I'm gonna press up and you can see how the graphic actually changes and shows the connection happening graphically, but also up here that allows us to confirm if the relay is working or not. And if for some reason you lost instructions, hidden OK also brings up the same diagram so we can connect all the wires correctly to the relay. Next up is activating components, and I have a light bulb that I have connected to the grounding end of the probe. And let's see if we can turn this on. I'm gonna press up. Sure enough, the light bulb comes on. But in addition to this mode right here, we also have a latch mode. And the latch mode allows the light bulb or in whatever other device that has been connected to stay on. And finally, we also get a pulse mode. 
the pulse mode it sounds just exactly what it does it pulses the power and finally we are able to customize a watt amperage does the circuit breaker should kick in all the way up from 18 to 1 amp and we also get a 5 volt adjustable power supply which we can use for testing here's the voltage that we want here's what the tool says is outputting and here's my voltmeter for reference the voltage is adjustable in 0.5 increments and i'll keep going down just so we can keep comparing those readings we're now down in 4.0 let's try 3.5 next is 3.0 2.5 2.0 1.5, 1.0, and finally 0.5. And if you want to see how the voltmeter is hooked up, we're getting power from the tip, and we're getting ground from the auxiliary ground cord. But also notice that if you're looking to get 0.5 on the dot for when you are this low in the range, it's not going to be that accurate. We have 0.3, and sure enough, the voltmeter reflects that, that we're not close to 0.5. However, if you're looking for any greater voltage than 0.5, you're going to be very close. Next up is the injector test, and they have included four different pulse timings for those tests and also they have included a diagram on the manual that shows us how to connect the injector for testing and finally we have the polarity test and i'll probe two different surfaces the first one is a voltage sure enough it comes up as a positive voltage and the other surface i'm going to probe is a ground and yep it correctly has identified a ground and finally we have the setup menu where we can turn off that annoying beep sound <laughs> and we can also select between 18 different languages that are built in onto this tool we can also also run the firmware update and we can also select between a dark or bright display and that was the top diag p200 smart pro which as you saw is a very capable tool and it becomes even more capable the more we learn how to use its advanced features now where could it do better i would like to see if top diag can improve on the little pad right here where you press up and down and the ok button because as you saw on the demo i was able to move around the menu fairly easy but every once in a while i will click one button and a different button will get activated and that is just because they're kind of very close to each other and they don't have too much of a tactile feedback when you press down on them it almost feels like you're pressing down on two buttons at the same time so you have to be a little bit careful to press exactly right down the middle of the button so i think that'd be an easy way to continue to improve on this tool and make this product even better so remember i put a link in the description down below to the p200 in case you guys want to get one for yourself and if you guys have any other questions regarding this smart hook please put that in the comments down below and stay tuned as i have a lot more cool car gadgets coming up for you guys thank you guys for watching and as always i'll see you on the next one